Hello YouTube and this is Robert with Super Galactic Geek Review and we've got a Way Back Wednesday review for you today. We're going to be reviewing Vision and Scarlet Witch. This is issue number one and this is Night of the Living Druid is the title of this one and this one is from 1982, November 1st 1982 to be precise. Now it's really cool, this is uh, taking place when Scarlet Witch and Vision actually get themselves a home to start living as a family together, okay? These two have been together for a while and they decided to get themselves a home. Well, Marvel decided that they wanted to do a whole series on just Vision and Scarlet Witch and their relationship part, you know, and how they are dealing with being superheroes on an Avenger team and and living together and you know eventually they have the twins whoops spoiler alert there um and how they deal with having kids and dealing with the kids and uh dealing with being superheroes at the same time and, and it gets into details of that type of stuff but this is the very first of that series that they did now this one is based they get their house and it's halloween of all times to end up with your brand new home Halloween! So they're out taking a stroll on Halloween night and as you can see the little trick-or-treaters are so excited they recognize them. They're like whoa wait a minute those are that Scarlet Witch and Vision you know and you see the trick-or-treaters running up to them and Vision does a little trick for them and puts his hand through their trick-or-treat bag. So it's really neat the kids are excited that superheroes are moving into their neighborhood. Wow this is awesome! So it is a great story. Um, Jarvis is actually in this story. The guy, uh, and he is actually uh, the butler for Vision and Scarlet Witch at their new house, which I thought was kind of cool. And uh, so the story goes that Scarlet Witch is going through all these magical books. And the magical book, she sits one down on a table near the fireplace. And the book starts flipping pages by itself well the book ends up she closes the book and then it ends up opening itself back up now the book contains night of the living druid inside of it now he is an evil character that can only come out on hollow's eve so it's really cool these kids are like excited at the you know they're going to go up to the house and trick-or-treat well one's got a pumpkin head one's dressed as a ghost and the other one's dressed as a goblin and so they go they're like oh let's go trick-or-treat their house i want to see them again so they go up there to the house to trick-or-treat them as they're walking up the druid escapes the book as you can see right here and he goes up and he's like brings the three of them Instead of being in trick-or-treat costumes, he changes them into the characters that they are. And Vision and Scarlet Witch have to basically fight these kids. Well, while Vision's hands are full trying to take care out the kids, Scarlet Witch realizes what's going on and goes after the druid to try to stop him. And he's a little bit more powerful than she realizes. So the Night, Night of the Living Druid, and you can see a really good picture of him right here, um, is tormenting and torturing her. And she's trying to call out to Vision. Vision's trying to deal with these kids that have been transformed into the characters they were dressed as. And Vision eventually takes out all three kids and subdues them. Doesn't harm them. You know, he basically takes them down without harming them. And... The Druid's trying to go through every nightmare that could be in Scarlet Witch's head and trying to torture her, and she's trying to fight him. And it, she eventually fights him off enough to get him where he's subdued enough where his powers are not working on him, uh, the kids anymore. And so Vision is able to get to her to help her, and she casts a spell right in time 
to make the Night of the Living Dead, uh, Night of the Living Druid, I almost said Living Dead, I apologize, Night of the Living Druid disappear. So definitely, definitely an amazing opening for this book. This is the first in this series. And it was, like I said, this is from November of 1982. An excellent, excellent book, excellent read. And for the artwork of the time, I mean, it was very spot on. I mean, it did not look grainy as you would normally think it would be. It's very, very artistic. I was pleasantly surprised about that. The storyline is an amazing storyline. I love the idea of a druid character captured inside of a book that can only be released one time a year. And it happened to be Hollow's Eve. That makes it even cooler because you're like, oh, what's he going to do? You know, so for a Way Back Wednesday review, we have got to look at this in the full aspect. First off, this book was printed in 1982. If they were to redo this, keep the artwork, but up it with today's level artwork. I would push this to a 10 because it's that well of a book. The storyline is excellent. The way you read it, it flows very good. But because it's still 1982 artwork, I can't give it a 10, okay? Because that would be unfair to the other books that I've judged in the past. But I can give this a strong 8 because it is very, very well done. And it is an excellent book. So... For Vision and the Scarlet Witch, issue number one from 1982, Night of the Living Druid, we're going to go ahead and give it eight geek glasses. So YouTube, go ahead and click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and be proud to be a geek.